fellow beaters, it is JP. And I've, as promised, here is the bracelet tutorial. And here we go. So these were the earrings I made in the previous video. And now I will show you how to assemble the bracelet. You will be making um, individual components and then we'll connect the components together. To make one component, you're gonna need 12 Super Duo beads. And these are the Super Duos that I'm using and the color is April Showers and this was purchased from Potomac Crystals. Next, you're going to need four uh, bicones or whatever four millimeter beads. So I'm using bicones as my four millimeter bead, which is right over here. And these are Blue Luster, purchased from crystalsandbeadsforfriends.com. The website is called crystalsandbeadsforfriends.com and these are machine cut uh, uh, check bicones. You'll also need 8 O's and 11 O's. So this, these are the seed beads. They are both galvanized silver from Mayuki, Duracoat galvanized silver, and both uh, were purchased from Aura Crystals. So here's the 11s and, or sorry, these are, these are the tube of eights. And then here is my little bag of 11s. So you can see both from Aura Crystals. And you'll need some fire line. I'm using six pound fire line. And to make each component, I'd say you need about 15 to 18 inches. And let's see what else you'll need. A couple of jump rings and a clasp of your choice. And that is it. All of the colors and the bead numbers will be included in the description below. This bracelet is about six inches, just a little over six inches. It's like six and a quarter inches long, and I needed to make seven components. So you can kind of figure out the math based on that. I gave you the math for one component, and in order to make uh, however many you need, so you can sort of do the math and figure it out. And here are the earrings from the previous one. And the video, the link to the video for this one is gonna be in the description box along with the beads and colors and so forth. Let's get started. Okay, to start off our unit, I'm gonna show you how to do this again, how to make that unit. So you are gonna pick up four of the Super Duo beads and four of the Edo beads, just like this. And I have about 18 inches of fire line here is my thread. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make a knot first. And after I make the knot, I'm gonna go back through all of the beads to reinforce them. So here's my knot. I'm gonna make sure the thread doesn't get caught anywhere, which is always tricky to do. And you want to give this a nice tug to make sure it's a nice tight knot and you want the circle to be as tight as possible. Okay, now I'm just gonna go through all the beads like I said earlier. So here's, here's the knot. You can see the two threads are together. So go ahead and start going through the 8 and the Super Duo. And I'm just gonna go through it two beads at a time or three. And here I am, I've gone all the way back around. You can see where the uh, tail thread is there. Now I'm just gonna continue forward a, a couple of beads. I wanna come out of a super duo. So first thing I'm gonna do is continue through the eight and the super duo. And this is what you should have. Now pick up a Super Duo, an 11, and another Super Duo, like so. And you're just, you're gonna skip over the eight there and just go into the next Super Duo. And we're just gonna repeat this all the way around. So we gotta do this three more times. Once again, grab a Super Duo, Grab an 11 and grab another Super Duo. 
and go into the next super duo over here. And that's what you should have. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab another Super Duo 11 and the Super Duo. And of course, I'm gonna go into my next Super Duo here. And I've gotta do this one last time. And just make sure all of these kind of pop into place. So you may have to just kind of straighten them out. Okay, uh, our last little set here, a uh, Super Duo 11 and a Super Duo. So there, there they are. I'm gonna go into this next Super Duo and note that I did not change into the second hole of the Super Duos. I'm still coming out of that original hole where the Eidos are connected. So you can see from here, I am gonna go into this super duo, just like that. And get my unit into place. So I'm gonna move out, move my hand out of the way here. Um, and so that's what it should look like. So I'm, I'm coming out of this super hole, uh, super duo. And so I'm going to go and step up into this next round and I'm actually going to go into the second hole. So I'm going to step up and I'm actually going to go, um, or actually, sorry, that was wrong. <laughs> go into this next super duel. We're not stepping up. We're actually going to just go straight in, uh, to this next one here. Just like that, I'm gonna flip the work and then I'm actually gonna turn, uh, flip the work and then go into the second hole of this super duo. Just like so, then go into this next super duo, which if you note is slightly lower, it's the lower one, because this is from the first round and this was from the more recent round. So go into this next one Now pick up an 11, an eight, and an 11, and just go back around the same super duo where the thread is coming out. So just that lower um, super duo there. And so the, uh, the seed bead to doll just kind of sit in this little triangle form, then move forward into the next super duo. Now it's time to pick up a bicone. So I'm just gonna move these bicones over here. And that way I'm gonna grab the bicone and just go into the next super duo. So we're gonna be alternating between the bicone and the, uh, the seed beads. So, and then as you do this, you wanna just tighten this up. You wanna keep this tight and then this 11 here that's between the two super doses should pop up a little bit. It won't be as noticeable when you first do it, but as you get all the way around, you'll see it. Now go into this next super duo, which is again, a lower super duo because it's from the previous round. And oh, my thread wants to get caught there. So, and now we're gonna repeat what we did before. So pick up an 11 grab an eight and pick up another 11 and just go around just that super duo. Then into the next super duo. And now time for a bi count. So pick up your four millimeter uh, bi count or whatever bead you're using. I happen to be using my four millimeter bi counts and now I'm gonna go into this lower super duo. And once again, I've grabbed an 11 
an eight and an 11 and just going back around that one super duo. Okay, so a couple more times and now continue forward into this next super duo. Pick up a bicone. Go into the next super duo here. And see, as you pull on that bicone to kind of tighten it up, you can see these, the seed beads kind of pop up. So do the super duos, and that's kind of what you want. Have a little bit of a three-dimensional look to our piece. And now I'm gonna continue over into this super duo here. And once again, we're gonna get those seed beads to pop up. So 11, or not pop up, uh, we're gonna grab some seed beads to, to add. So it's gonna be 11, eight, and an 11. Okay, and last bicone add, so continue forward into the super duo here. Grab that bicone and then go into the next super duo. And there's my piece. And that is a complete unit. So as I showed you in the previous video, uh, to make the earrings or to make the bracelet, this, this is the component you'll be making. Now for the next part, what you're gonna do is we have to connect all of these seed beads to the super doughs that are on either side of them. So right now these seed beads are only connected to this lower level super duo. So just to kind of give this a good reinforcement, I'm gonna go around and connect all of the seed beads. So now I'm coming out of this super duo here. I'm gonna go into the 11 and uh, the 11, just the 11 there. And one thing you wanna make sure you do is if this starts to, if the bicone starts to come forward, these 11s won't pop. So you just wanna make sure that that's kind of push those back up, that's all. And you just, and they should pop back up and it should be fine. Now go through the eight and the next 11. And if your needle, if you're able to align the needle, go ahead and go through your super duo. Now through the bicone and the super duo that that's connected to, and I'm gonna go forward into the 11. And again, all I'm doing, I'm not adding beads, I'm just connecting the seed beads to the super duos. So now it's eight, 11, and my next super duo here. Then bicone, super duo, 11, and oh, look at that, I even got the eight. And now we're gonna go 11 and the super duo. Bicone, super duo, and if I can, I'm gonna try to get this 11 too. Okay, now just go through the 11 over here, the super duo. And I think we should be just about all the way around. So I'm just gonna, I wanna come out of an eight. So I'm gonna go through this bicone, through the 11 and hopefully, let's see if I can, yep. Did not get through that eight, that's okay. No big deal. And now through the eight. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm gonna show you the next part here in just a second. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little zapper and cut this piece out here. Just to kind of get that out of the way. There we go. 
And that's out of the way. Okay, so this is gonna be for, we're gonna make the um, loop for our clasp. And I kept this pretty simple. So I'm gonna grab an 11, an eight, an 11, another eight, and then 11, eight, and 11. And just go back through the eight right here. Like so. So I'm not quite doing my usual diamond pattern. I wanted to keep this sort of in this, uh, kind of have it flow in terms of the design pattern. So let's go through all the beads again to reinforce this. And so going through all of the 11s and the 8s. Okay, now what I do for the next time I go around is I actually go through just the eights and that helps keep get this to look a little more solidified and keeps the elevens in like these little corners to make a square shape. So, um, go through the next eight, skipping over the 11 and make sure you give it a good tug. And if it does this, just pull the 11. and that should get it into a corner. And then again, do that here, skip over the 11, go through just the eight. And again, there's my, th my fourth eight o there. I started at an eight. This is number four. Try not to grab the 11 if you can. And then back to the eight. So as you can see, that gives it a nice little square shape. Now, one last time to reinforce this. Now I'm actually gonna go through all of the beads again, including the 11s. So I went through that eight and I actually ended up grabbing the 11. So I'm just gonna go forward into the eight again, then the 11, the eight and the 11 here and the eight, the 11, and I'm back at my eight here. That's where we started. And that should be ready. And you can now add in a jump ring in here. There's enough of a gap for a jump ring to fit through. Uh, to add the clasp. Okay, next part, I'm gonna go through this 11 here and then the super duo. If I can, so sometimes you gotta wiggle this a little bit just to kinda get the needle through because the needle is bumping up against the bicone cone here. So, okay, there we go. I'm coming out of that super duo. Go through the bicone and the super duo. And I'm trying to get to this eight or eight over here on this opposite side. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. So I've gone through a bicone, a super duo, and an 11, and now I am coming out of that eight. Okay, I'm gonna grab another one. So I made a bunch of these units up ahead of time just to make things a little bit easier for me. And so here's my other unit. So it's already been made and to connect them. So what you want to do is make up a bunch of these units 
uh, individually and then we'll connect them together. And all you're gonna need are the seed beads to do the connections. So I've got a bunch of mine already here and it's time to connect them. You're gonna make, how? Uh, so I had to make seven to make a six inch bracelet. So I've got three of these I've already connected to kind of figure out how to do the connections. So here's that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how to do the connections. And two of these pieces that you make, you're gonna make with just like this. So these are gonna be your two end pieces. So you wanna add that clasp loop but before you continue forward. And then the others, you don't need to make that little end piece. All the individual central center pieces, the pieces that go in the middle, <laughs> uh, don't require that. Okay, so let me get all this out of the way and stop saying the word so 50 million times. I'm trying to break that habit. I'm gonna need my uh, super duos, or not super duos, my eight O's and my 11's. For this next part, I'm gonna grab an 11, an eight, and an 11. Then I'm gonna go into this eight here, like so. So I'm coming out of that one over there. I've got the beads and I'm gonna go into this next one. And then once again, I'm gonna grab an 11, an eight, and an 11, and go into the eight on this one here. And that's what we get. So this should look very similar to this. And now go back around the beads. Reinforce everything. Go through the eight there. Okay, I've gone through all of the beads. Now for this next part, I'm gonna go through just the eights and skip the 11s. So you want you want to go through all of these at least three times is basically what I end up doing. And that Okay, now go ahead and go through all of the beads, including the 11s for the third round. And now I'm through the eight and I'm just gonna tie off my threads. I'm gonna go through this eight here and then into the 11, but this 11 is next to the super duo and into the super duo. And then tie a half inch knot between the super duo and the bicone. And then go through the bicone and go through more beads. I'm gonna tie another one between this 11 and eight. Like so, and 
continue forward. And my third knot is going to be here by the Super Duo and by Cone. And then just hide the knot in the bicone. Okay, so those are connected and that is it. That is the simple connection piece to do. I'm gonna go ahead and trim my threads here. Now I left, so for each component that I made, I left a piece of thread, a long piece of thread to, to connect it to the next component. And so that's what you wanna do. So you wanna go ahead and tie some knots with that uh, for the components, just like I did. And then save the thread to then attach the next one. So now I'll grab another one here and I'm just going to attach it Oh, here we go. Now I'm going to attach these doing the exact same thing I just did. So I've shown you how to make this unit twice. I did it. They're exactly the same. This one here and this one here. The only thing is I use the 8 on the component as opposed to just grabbing a, a loose 8 So keep going. Get all your pieces attached and um, we'll go from there. Okay, well, here is the bracelet with all the connections. And then I went ahead and added a toggle clasp, but all I did was put jump rings here into my uh, rings and then added the toggle. And there we are. Also, here's the matching earrings. So if you missed the video, it's the one right before this one. I will have it linked in the description box. So check, look for the link in the description box if you wanna make the earrings. Thanks for watching. See you next time.